Hi, this is Nikhil Hasita, Senior Product Manager for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And this week, I'm talking to Abhijit in our India Development Center about reports in the cloud. Hi, Abhijit. Why don't you tell our viewers a little about yourself? Thank you, Nikhil. Hi, everybody. I am Abhijit Gore. I am a Program Manager with Microsoft Dynamics CRM, working out of India. I've been with CRM for the past six years. Why don't you tell us about the new reporting capabilities in CRM 2011, especially as to how they relate to CRM Online? Sure. In CRM 2011, we are very excited to bring you this capability of custom reports for CRM Online. By that, I mean you can now create custom RDLs outside of CRM, so you don't have to use Report Wizard any longer. It's still available if you need it, but you could use an environment like a business intelligence development studio that comes with SQL Server and create reports. So thereby you can maintain control over the text, the font sizes. You can insert company logos in there. You can do conditional formatting or you know what have you. And once the RDLs are created, you can upload them to CRM online to, to be executed. The only caveat there being instead of using SQL as your data query language, we ask you to use Fetch XML. And if you're an ISV, I assume you can package these reports in your solution as well? Yes, of course. The reports in CRM 2011 are fully compliant with the solutions infrastructure that is coming in CRM 2011. You can package the report and, and distribute it to multiple organizations in a manner that will allow your report wizard created reports to remain editable in when you transport it from one organization to another. You can also transport your custom reports uh, via the same mechanism. Okay, Abhijit, I cannot wait to see all the new things that we can do with reports in CRM 2011. In CRM 2011, there are two ways of creating fetch based reports. One is you start off with a report wizard based report download the RDL, edit it in Business Intelligence Development Studio, upload it back into CRM. Right? The second way of doing it is, is start off with an fetch XML and, and edit the report in bits in a Visivig environment. So let me show you the second way. So for to get a fetch XML, what you need to do is you need to first define the query. So let's define, we want to see all the opportunities who's, who are still open. So once we have defined the query, let's see the, let's see if it's working, it works fine. So let's go back to the query. Now this also, in CRM 2011, we have added a capability where you can get the generated fetch XML from advanced find. So this is the fetch XML which has generated. So let's copy that. Now let's move to see uh, Visual Studio. This is the business intelligence development studio that is installed by SQL Server. Let's create a report server project. Now I'll be adding a new report. So as I'm walking to the report wizard type, you'll see that because of the installation that I had uh, previously done, I will see a data source type of dynamic CRM fetch. So let me pick that. In the connection string, I need to define the server URL followed by the org name. But the org name is if you're if you're if you belong to only one org, then it can be ignored or it can be left. Let me give it the let me give the credentials here so it will so it will create the connection with that let me define the fetch query as you can and since we are defining the query in the plain text editor we can go to the query builder and see if that works. So as you can see, it's getting the data. Now, rest of the process remains the same for you know any report. Just the query part has to be fetch XML. So you define the type of the report. Right? You would say define the
let us see a preview so as you see we don't need the opportunity ID so we can remove that column from here but the rest of the report is already defined so you can see the list of all opportunities whose estimated revenue and what is the status code let me see name it my open opportunities in design mode I'm what I'm gonna do is add a logo again here so I go to the stored files that I have pick a logo just try to make it visible and let's see a preview again so there you go now I have the report now what all I need to do is go back to CRM and let's upload that report so now I'm gonna create a new report whose type is an existing file so that we can upload an existing RDL so it was a report project 6 which we just created so I'm gonna upload the report save it and what it's doing now is uh, it, it takes the RDL which has embedded fetch inside it and uploads it to the CRM so on the CRM server on SSRS side uh, we have a data processing extension that understands that fetch and whenever we give a command to execute run the report it will take the fetch convert it into um, something that the CRM can understand to get data and show you the report so this is one way other way of creating a fetch fetch report which you can edit outside CRM and bring it back in and this is valid for CRM as well as for on-premise online as well as on-premise in CRM 2011 we have uh, we have a new feature known as dashboards in dashboards you can have uh, you can embed charts you can embed grids you can embed web resources uh, and I'm going to show you how you can embed a report inside uh, a dashboard so let's create a new dashboard and pick a layout say create which launches the dashboard editor and since I want my report to uh, to span the whole page almost let me create it and let's pick a web resource I have a web resource it's an HTML file which encapsulates um, the report viewer right so I've picked the report viewer tool I've disabled the cross site scripting. Now let me go to a report, copy the link to the report, and go back to the dashboard. Let me paste the link. Now what is needed is I just need the report ID in here. So let's say OK. Let's give it let's give it a name. now let's go back to and see the dashboard report that we are just report on the dashboard that we are just created so now if you this is a report which takes a parameter so I want to see all of my open opportunities so it will show you all the open opportunities uh, existing for me so this is a very simple way where you can embed reports inside your dashboard I also want to show you uh, another capabilities that we have in reports so reports in CRM 2011 um, can e leverage all the capabilities existing in SQL Server 2008 R2 reporting services so this is a sample report fetch based reports that we had created which can be used as in online as well as on-premise environment so you can see we have a few gauges here and this is linked to the CRM data we also have a sales funnel defined uh, on the left on the left on on the right you have the data bars 
and in the middle you can see the KPI indicators so you have green which is when the percentage is above 70 and it's if it's below 30 then you have red all right so you can define the KPI indicators based on the uh, data and what you could also do is use the geospatial uh, mappings and you can define the data to be put on a map so here you can see the sales revenue by state Abhijit, wow. I think our manager personas are going to find these capabilities extremely useful. I want to thank you for your time today. To our viewers, join us next week when we bring you another one-on-one -on -one interview with our program managers. Thank you.